has been quite a while since we have had the distinct pleasure of talking about Dominique Foxworth, the ESPN NFL analyst who shares a first name with NFL cheerleaders. I have met dudes named Dominic. I've met women named Dominique. Never had the pleasure of meeting a dude named Dominique. Maybe ESPN hired him for diversity reasons. Perhaps he satisfies the requirements for manly looking woke woman. And my apologies to NBA legend Dominique Wilkins for that joke. I'm not sure what he has been up to in the 20 or so years that he has been retired from the NBA, but I know what Dominique Foxworth has been up to since retiring from the NFL. He has been studying hard in his courses at Woke U. You know, he wasn't satisfied with just completing his degree in mythical racism. No, 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 no. Dominique Foxworth, he is one ambitious shitfuck. He studied under the tutelage of Taylor Lorenz. He aced a course titled How to Convince People You're a Victim When You're a Millionaire. He also studied theology, taught by Pastor Jalen Rose. He wanted to learn how to preach. He wanted to learn how to spread the good word. Pastor Jalen, I appreciate you baptizing me and massaging my cheeks with your firm hands. But that's not enough. I don't want to just spread bongo cheeks. I want to spread the good word too. Teach me, oh wise one. Show me the way. Allow me to become an ordained minister so I can baptize others and enter their personal garden of Eden. Ooh, 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 ooh. How I love the smell of a manly garden. It reminds me of freshly dropped nuggets in the WNBA dump. It really has been a long time since we have discussed Dominique Foxworth here on the channel. It's been at least a year. I bought this laptop a year ago this month. I have a folder titled Shitfucks on my computer. It has over 1,100 videos. I don't have any videos of Dominique Foxworth, so it's been at least a year since we've talked about him. We've added over 20,000 new subscribers in that time, many of which might not be familiar with the former NFL cheerleader. I took the liberty of finding a couple of clips for you guys to illustrate Dominique Foxworth's mentality. It's important to know his mindset for the clip that I'm going to share with you here in a few minutes. Because what happened this morning... It is not the first time the hypocrite has given a sermon on hypocrisy. It's not the first time that he has lectured us on important issues like mythical racism. Dominique Foxworth, he has an extensive history of shit fuckery. He's a professional race baiter. Think, think Joy Reid without the wig. Now I think about it, Joy Reid, Dominique Foxworth, they do share some commonalities. Similar physical features, both have girl names while their gender remains unconfirmed by a biologist. Perhaps they even share a birthing person. In this woke world, who the hell knows? For those of you that are unfamiliar, allow me to introduce you to Dominique Foxworth. Roll the film. And the criticism of Justin Fields' ability to read defenses and go through his progression, like I think that is a fair criticism of quarterbacks, but I think it's important for all analysts, and this is kind of a PSA for all draft analysts to listen to, like do not be unaware of the history of black quarterbacks and they're often getting pegged with this criticism. That does not mean that it's not a fair and true criticism of Justin Fields, but it's important to be specific about what you're seeing. Just throwing out a general generalization like, well, he has, tr he has trouble processing. He has trouble reading the defense. Um, he has off the field or character concerns. Like, those are the tropes that are often stuck to black quarterbacks. The reason why you're wrong, and I'm not saying that I want him to be fired or, or, he, or he deserves suspension. I, I don't want to get into all that necessarily. But the reason why you're wrong is I don't care what's in his heart. I don't care if he meant to be malicious or not. That, that comment, in my view, is rooted in his belief that black quarterbacks should not be successful or, or a potential ambient Taking belief credit that no, yeah, from it's looking for a way to explain why he's so good that has nothing to do with the fact that he is talented and very smart. You are not the victim, Aaron Rodgers. Do not go to comedians and podcasters <laughs> for your COVID research and information <laughs> and then spew it out and, and have people believe it only because you throw a football really, really well, John <laughs> Ham. Chill out, John. Just go throw the football really well. And if you want to get involved in this stuff, learn about it. And no one's mad at you about not getting vaccinated. You can choose to not get vaccinated, but then follow the protocol. Oh, Dominique, I am so glad that we have you to teach us dumbasses proper decorum. 
after listening to your sermon, I now know as a white man, I am not allowed to say that a black quarterback in the NFL doesn't know how to read defenses. Thank you for pointing that out. Do you see what I'm talking about here with the hypocrisy? Number one, the mainstream media was absolutely pissed off that Aaron Rodgers refused to get vaccinated. Clearly, Dominique Foxworth has his face buried in Max Kellerman's bongo when first take is on the air at ESPN. Stephen A. Smith has went on several rants about the vaccination status of Aaron Rodgers and Kyrie Irving. Remember a couple of years ago when Laura Ingram told LeBron James to shut up and dribble? Remember all the fake outrage in the mainstream media? How dare this evil white birthing person tell a black man to do his job? This reminds me of my days living on the plantation. In that clip that I just shared with you, Dominique Foxworth, he essentially told Aaron Rodgers, shut up and throw the football. Your feeble mind cannot handle scientific issues like the Covey. Don't worry though, Aaron. You just go play football. Leave the Fauci fucking to Dominique. I cannot get enough of that sexy lizard. I didn't see any outrage from anyone on that ESPN panel. The other three shit fucks, they were just sitting there laughing like they were at a Chris Rock show. <laughs> Oh, Dominique, you are so funny. I've got blue lemons from all the woke boners you gave me. This is the same dude that admitted publicly that he pulls against Josh Allen because his fans fly American flags and they own dogs. I guess Dominique Foxworth doesn't like dogs. Maybe he's afraid of them, which I guess kind of makes sense since most cats are afraid of dogs. Last week, the NFL, more specifically the Miami Dolphins, found themselves in the middle of a shitstorm. Like I told you guys before, the mainstream media hates, I mean hates, the National Football League. If it were up to the media, the NFL would cease to exist. They find all these creative ways to try to convince us to stop watching this league. It doesn't help matters when the NFL gives them a legitimate reason. I personally was shocked when the Dolphins allowed Tua Tagovailoa to re-enter the game last Sunday against Buffalo. Last five, maybe ten years, the NFL hadn't messed around when it comes to head injuries. Someone gets a migraine, they ain't playing. Last Thursday night, Tua suffered through another horrific headshot. After it happened, everyone was obviously concerned. People were concerned about his immediate safety. They were concerned for his long-term health. People took to social media to express their support for his well-being. This outpouring of concern, this outpouring of support, it upset Dominique Foxworth. He expressed his frustrations this morning on ESPN on a show aptly titled, Get Up and Grab the Cucumber. Watch for yourself. What frustrates me is all these people, fans in particular, pretending like they give a damn about Tua or they give a damn about football players all of a sudden. When we're in these collective bargaining meetings and we're arguing for to not have Thursday games after Sunday games, to have a bye, to not have a 17-game season, arguing to increase the pay of players because the risk of this game is so damn high, there are not fans up there fighting and throwing themselves all in a tizzy <laughs> on Twitter because of that. They're yelling at us, then like, no, get back and play football. So just keep that same damn energy. You give a damn about yeah. Tua now, give a damn about all the rest of the players in the offseason when we're trying to fight to have a second opinion. If ESPN is ever accused again of mythical racism, you can easily disprove that claim by pointing to Dominique Foxworth. This dude is a consistent embarrassment, yet somehow he continues collecting woke welfare. First of all, it's never a good idea for players, whether they're current players or former players, never a good idea for them to chastise their own fan base. You want to know how that works out in the long run? Go ask the NBA. But second, Dominique Foxworth is constantly complaining about how minority quarterbacks are talked about and treated in the NFL. You saw in the clips that I just shared with you earlier, he was complaining about the treatment of Justin Fields. He was complaining about the treatment of Lamar Jackson. But when NFL fans show their concern and support for Tua, a minority quarterback, this shit fuck complains about that too. Hypocrisy line one, hypocrisy line one. There is no pleasing this dude. Well, I take that back. 
Dominique Foxworth, he does enjoy playing Clue. You guys remember that board game where you're investigating like murder mysteries or something? You remember that game? Shit fucks, they put a new spin on it. In their version of the game Clue, they line up the percussion section and you investigate which bongo belongs to which shit fuck. <clears throat> That's one hairy drum. That must belong to Liz Cambridge. That bongo is Casper White. It must be Max Kellerman. This other one is nice and firm. He must work out. This has to be Skippy Bebe's bongo. I don't know if Dominique Foxworth knows this, NFL fans are not involved in collective bargaining negotiations. You know who is involved? The players. NFL fans, they didn't sign the CBA. The players did. Of course fans don't give a damn about the CBA. It's not their responsibility to care. The only thing they care about when it comes to the collective bargaining agreement, did it get signed? Other than that, NFL fans could give a fuck less about it. Does Dominique Foxworth care about the union agreement between Mercedes and their employees? Does he get himself involved in those labor negotiations? When he goes to purchase a high-end vehicle, does he ask the car dealer if they have proper working conditions and health care for their employees? The factory where this car was assembled, does it have proper ventilation? Does Mercedes provide its employees with plenty of preparation? H, I know for me personally, after a long round of the bongo, I have trouble sitting for days. I want to make sure Mercedes employees are being taken care of. Dominique Foxworth, he doesn't care about any of that. When he goes to buy a new car, his number one priority, how much will it cost? He can give a shit less how the car got there, who assembled it. It's not his responsibility to worry about that. Just like it's not the responsibility of NFL fans to negotiate medical procedures within the league. That doesn't mean they don't care. You know, I just thought about something. Mike McDaniel, he is the head coach in Miami. There was some controversy at ESPN when he was hired dealing with his race. You know. Because everything at ESPN always, always, always has to be about race. Mike McDaniel is biracial. One of his parents is white. The other one is black. Can you imagine the fake outrage in the mainstream media if Mike McDaniel was a white head coach and this had happened to Tua? Colin Kaepernick, he would be all over social media. I was right. I told you guys this league is modern day slavery. NFL owners and head coaches use black men for profit without caring about their well-being. <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't the case. But anyway, let me know what you think. Dominique Foxworth, he lectures NFL fans about their mythical hypocrisy. The ultimate hypocrite lecturing the mythical hypocrites. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.